what's re reasonable and not reasonable in this case. Ask yourself if at that moment in time, as Tay Kay is running inside of that house with two armed, two guys armed with guns and one of them armed with set of brass knuckles, what, what his expectations were from that night. He's already pled guilty to you today saying, hey, I, I'm guilty that I knew that somebody was going to get threatened, but I'm not going to be guilty of a, a crime I didn't anticipate. That will be the test. <clears throat> but that's not reasonable. Put yourself in that situation right then and consider the evidence about what he knew in this case at, and when he knew it. Ladies and gentlemen, Ethan Walker was sitting on a, a stool in a bedroom with his girlfriend Alyssa Rao playing video games when he was killed. He wasn't hurting anybody. Let me just ask you this question. When you saw that person come around the corner with a mask on his face, how did you feel? Um, I was scared. Very scared. Did you have any idea at that moment about what was going on? Um, I was in shock and I was confused. Was that person holding anything? Okay. Gentlemen, what did Tay agree to participate in a robbery? Tay participated in a robbery. But he stood up here yesterday in front of you and in front of this court and accepted responsibility for what he agreed to do and what he participated in and pled guilty to the robbery by threats using a gun, threatening somebody with a gun in counts three and counts four. The girls planned this. They set it up. And the boys were supposed to come in and hold everybody off. And Tay Kay had a bag he was going to get the money and the drugs from under the couch and run back out. Well, that's not what happened. Everything went tragically wrong in there. But Tuesday, appearing older after two years in jail, he sat quietly in the courtroom. While prosecutors laid out a case he knew a plan to steal drugs and money would end in murder. So Tay Kay's response was, hey, no problem. We can take care of that. Tamor McIntyre is facing a capital murder charge for the death of 21-year-old Ethan Walker. He was living in the house where McIntyre and six others believed they'd find drugs and money in 2016. He's accused of recruiting friends who had guns to help with the robbery. And Walker's girlfriend said they were just in a room playing video games when the home invasion happened. At first, he came around the corner and he said, get on the ground. Okay. I think he said it two or three times. Me and Ethan both responded and said, there's nothing here. Ethan had his hands up and he got shot from the stomach. Though he admits being at the house, McIntyre's attorney argued there's no way he could have known a planned robbery would turn into a murder. And I'll tell you right now, ladies and gentlemen, the evidence will not support that conclusion because they have to prove that beyond any reasonable doubt that he should have known that that intentional killing would happen. So Tay K is back in the news, bro. Free take K till it's backwards. Free take K. That's still the motherfucking movement. So, ladies and gentlemen, more take K trial updates. According to reports, court proceedings are finally on the way. A couple of days ago, opening statements were read, and now the trial is moving along. Tay K has pled guilty to robbery charges, but he pled not guilty to the capital murder charges. Tay K's lawyers are telling the judge Tay K only participated in the robbery and had no idea somebody would just come through and shoot Ethan Walker for no motherfucking reason. Apparently, that's exactly what happened. Ethan Walker, his girl actually took the stand and she was actually beside him when the robbery went down. She even said we both had our hands up and then somebody shot him in the stomach it is confirmed tay k did not fire the gun that killed ethan walker apparently new reports are coming out saying that when tay k was booked by u.s marshals he was telling the staff he swallowed pills and was hearing motherfucking voices tay k was evaluated and kept in a psych ward for a day but he was released and booked into the juvenile detention center we all know a lot of times when motherfuckers are catching bodies they plead insanity so maybe tay k was trying to pull the same thing who knows but we'll just have to wait and see what goes down we'll just have to wait and see how long the trial goes for your boy alfred will keep you updated if there's any developments thank you so much for tuning in your boy alfred out I just want